Hey guys, it's Kaylee from Eat Plants Live Well. Today's subject is sugar. So let's talk about sugar. We need to talk about sugar because we want to make sure that everybody understands the difference between sugar when it comes in the form of fruit, for example in a banana, and sugar when it comes in the form of added sugar or industrial sugar, for example when it comes in the form of a Snickers bar. Now I have a friend that was asking me the other day or explaining to me the other day that there's as much sugar in a banana as there is in a Snickers bar. And his point was that of course it's just as bad to eat a banana as it is to eat a Snickers bar. Which, you know, if, if you're a sane person I guess you know that that's not actually true. That those two things are very different. Regardless of sugar content, they're very different animals. One's produced in a factory with added industrial sugar, and one grows on a tree without any added sugar. Okay, so, but the point is, what is the difference between fruit sugar or fructose and added sugar or industrial sugar? Well, there's a great answer to this question on Michael Greger's site, nutritionfacts.org. And it's a site I definitely encourage you to go on if you have questions on anything relating to nutrition. It's a great website with an awesome search function and you can type in anything. So for example, I'm gonna go in here right now and I'm gonna go ahead and type in fruit and just hit search and it's gonna come up with some uh, website options. So I'm going to hit fruit, I'm going to click on search, and it's come up with your search for fruit. So how about this one, if fructose is bad, what about fruit? So this video has lots of good information, but uh, the, the cool thing too is you can click on this view transcripts and it'll show you the transcript for the video and also it'll link to any of the studies that are, or sources cited that, that uh, in the in the video which is awesome so much more than I can say for any other website or any other article or any so be careful when you go on say your Twitter feed and it comes up and it says limit yourself to two fruits a day and then you click on the article and you go in and you read it and it kind of makes sense and it seems on the up and up but there's nothing you no know, sources cited it's just somebody's personal opinion and with their anecdotal evidence so be very careful of that as far as nutrition information goes because God knows we don't need more misinformation out there. We need more studies, and as Dr. Greger has on his site, we need more sources cited and transcripts, etc. So he's very thorough in his uh, recommendations and his uh, videos. They're all about between like three and I think six minutes long, so really concise and you're really worth your time to go in and check out. But anyway, let's get back to the point. The point is, is fructose the same as industrial sugar. Now in this video he goes over the difference between the two and the fact that uh, you know one is natural, one is not natural, one can be you know called corn syrup, it can be called table sugar etc and it's something that's not packaged with fiber and that's the important part and that's the biggest difference I'm going to mention to you between fruit sugar which is fructose and added sugar which is industrial sugar. The biggest difference is you're going to have other added benefits to eating the whole ripe fresh fruit than you are eating a candy bar. And one of those big benefits is fiber. And the importance of fiber comes in when you realize that fiber actually helps to, actually let's go back to the other fruit video, how much fruit is too much? And this is addressed as another question too, which is pertinent to what we're talking about is, do you need to limit the amount of fruit that you eat because of the amount of sugar in the fruit? And the answer to that question on this video is no. And so if we look at the transcript here, it, can it talks about a study and said uh, 17 people were made to eat 20 servings a day of fruit. Despite the extraordinarily high fructose content of this fruit, presumably about 200 grams per day, so the equivalent of eight cans of soda worth, the investigators reported no adverse effects for body weight, blood pressure, and insulin and lipid levels after three to six months. So these people are on this diet for three to six months, eating 20 servings of fruit a day, and it looks like 44 servings of vegetables as well. 
So those two things are not the same. A, a Snickers bar is not the same as a banana, and they have different types of sugar in them. And don't don't be under the impression that those are the same thing. That the, that you need to limit the amount of fruit because of the amount of sugar in it. Just understand that you can eat unlimited amounts of fruit. Again, based on this study, I mean, 17 people eating 20 servings of fruit a day. That's more than 17 servings of fruit than the average person gets in. If you were, think about this, the average person takes in three servings of fruit a day. Three. That is crazy. That is horrible. I mean, three servings of fruit a day. It's insane. So anyway, remember that. Remember that unlimited amounts of fruit are your friend and limiting yourself to say one banana a day or something crazy like that or only getting three servings of fruit a day will not help your health and it won't help things like your body weight, it won't help your blood pressure, it won't help your insulin and lipid levels by limiting those things and it certainly is not a good idea to replace the fruit in your diet with things like candy bars or things with added sugar. So avoid that added sugar but don't worry about the sugar or the fructose in fruit based on this, this study and then based on also, you know, personal experience of a lot of people that eat a lot of fruit a day, fruitarians or raw vegans like myself that are experiencing some pretty good health benefits and have the blood test to prove those and back those up. All right, so don't forget to live well and uh, go ahead and, and or hit the like button or dislike button if you like these videos and you want to see more of them. All right, and don't forget to eat plants, live well. Thanks.